on YouTube. This is Airshootist. Yeah, I did that video about the plenum for the Air Force uh, Talon, yeah, yeah. The people really want to see it. They want to see it now. Well, okay, let's give them what they want. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome specifically to the shed engineering department where today I'm going to finally share with you my Air Force plenum. So if you didn't know about PCP air guns, you wouldn't know that to get big power out of a regulated gun, you need some air in the waiting room to be shot down the barrel. And you do that by adding a plenum. Now, I know sometimes on the internet I do a little bit of trolling and sometimes I'm, it's hard to tell if I'm being satirical or not. But make no mistake about this. This is a very dangerous thing to do and do not attempt anything like this unless you have a vast wealth of experience with high pressure air, which I do. So of course I am very qualified to do this. Also I'm wearing a lab coat, which enhances my qualification probably times 10. So uh, as you know, I bring a lot of my paintball into the PCP air gun world. So this is entirely constructed with paintball parts and it has been sitting in my house holding air just fine for at least a week or so and i've got 4500 psi in this tank i've got the talon tunes a drop down adapter here and my i also have a regulator in here so 4500 in the tank and then i'm only regulating to 1900 psi so this apparatus here is only holding 1900 psi so the next logical thing to do is well let's see how it increased the performance a couple of weeks ago, I came back here and did a little bit of crony testing in the cold like it is right now. This thing shoots about 750 or did in its previous configuration. So I think I took a screenshot of my chronograph results. So let's put that up here somewhere. We'll put that up right here. And now we're gonna go ahead and sit down at the bench and see if we made an increase. I will add that this plenum I did measure the volume inside of it with some water and it was 10 cc's in the grip part here and with this and also the talent tunes adapter i would estimate that i've added about 15 cc's of plenum so let's see what a talon ss in 22 caliber regulated at 1900 psi with 15 to 20 cc's of plenum total can do going from 750 to question mark all right, so we're ready to test this thing out. Keep in mind before, like I said, it was shooting right around 750 in this cold weather. In the summer, it usually goes up about 15 FPS, but right around 750 FPS is what I tested a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so we have added the plenum, we have added the Talon Tunes drop-down adapter, and all together with the original piece that I had here, I would estimate I have about 20 cc's of plenum. So we're gonna shoot this with the H&N Hunter Extreme 18 point what are they? 18.52 grains. This is what I've been shooting in this thing for several years since it's been regulated. So those are what has been shooting 750 in this type of weather. So we're going to go ahead and load one in. Now, I don't want to get Kentucky ballistics here. So I'm going to take off the science glasses. I just lost, I got minus 10 science now, plus 10 when I put them on. But I've got plus 10 safety if I put the pit vipers on. So um, the first shot, just to, just to make sure, I'm just going to kind of keep my face away. I'm sure it's safe, but, you know, safety first. Got the chronograph on, and here we go. Cross your fingers for a gain. 835. That is like a 90 FPS gain. You can't be serious. We got to try it again. All right, seems safe enough. So maybe I'll actually take a shot on target. Eight thirty-five. Would you say that was a worthwhile upgrade? So I have not changed at all the regulator pressure, nor have I changed the hammer spring or anything. All the same settings. The only thing is different is that I added the Talon Tunes adapter and my homebrew plenum. Eight thirty-seven, man. And you know what? Those two shots were touching. So 
I have retained my accuracy, and this gun is wildly accurate. You've seen my hunting videos, you've seen me shoot squirrels from 50 yards away, and that was when it was like 23 foot-pounds, and right now, we are at 28.5 foot-pounds. So let's take another one. Eight thirty-seven. Well, I think the results of this sciencing are pretty conclusive. Adding 10 to 15 to 20, maybe possibly overall cc's of plenum equals major gains on such a setup. And it allows you to run it at super low pressures. So on a stock Air Force Talon, you'd be running this thing at 3000 PSI in the bottle with no regulator. And you'd be getting, with these pellets, you'd probably be getting, I don't know, around that velocity, I would say, maybe even a little less. And now, instead of running it at 3000 PSI with, with POI shifts as my bottle goes down, I've got a regulator, 4500 PSI in the tank, only running it at 1900 PSI and making the same power because of the plenum. That is pretty fantastic. So I've got one more thing I wanna do some sciencing on, and that is, Back in the day when I did have this unregulated, I was shooting the 21.14 grain Kodiaks. OGs still call them Kodiaks. Yes, I know they are H&N Barracudas now, but to me, they'll always be Beeman Kodiaks. So I am going to shoot some Kodiaks. And in fact, I pulled an OG unopened tin of Beeman Kodiaks out of the safe. And I'm gonna see if I can break 30 foot pounds with this gun. And if my science brain tells me anything, it tells me, yes, you can. So. We're gonna put those heavier pellets in here and give it a shot. That's coming up next. A few moments later. Okay, so we are gonna try the Kodiaks, 21.14 grain. I am thinking I'm gonna get 30 foot pounds out of this talon now. And if I do, then it will be back to exactly where it was shooting at a full tank before having it regulated. And so basically, I'm going back retro to how it was before, and it was a tack driver with these things. So I'm hoping that I can make 30 foot pounds with it, and then I'll have basically upgraded this and gone on a whole evolution to regulate it, all types of crazy stuff to get right back where I was performance wise, except now I get like 100 plus shots out of one fill, and they're all at the same exact velocity because of the regulator. So let's do it. Hopefully, you can see the crony there. Seven ninety-three. Let's take another one. Eight oh five. Eight oh three. Eight hundo. And let's do one more. 800 again. So 800 is 30.1 foot pounds. Go science. Way to go, dude. Right. <laughs> yes. Yes. So we have done it. We have upgraded the already massively upgraded Talon with a plenum and the results speak for themselves. Now, one more thing I wanted to do is I've got some 17.5 grain NSA slugs. You guys probably know I'm a, I'm a big fan of NSA slugs. And I was playing with these before and I was able to shoot like a two inch um, gong, more or less, you know, every couple of shots with these at hundred yards before. Well, let's just see what kind of velocity I'm getting out of these. They're 17.5 grain. I think they're, they're the 217 diameter. So let's go ahead and try these. Now these are a little bit chonky to fit in the barrel. You gotta smush them in for this uh, Lothar Walther barrel. 835. 835, maybe a little slow for what slugs need. Try another one here. Eight nineteen, so maybe not a slug gun. This thing's always been a pellet gun. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this content. Again, if you are going to attempt building one of these, please, please know what you're doing. Do not do it if you have any doubt in your capabilities of dealing with high pressure air because 
This is 1900 PSI. That's enough to blow off your fingers. That's enough to blind you. If you make one mistake, you could pay for, for the rest of your life. So just be careful out there, guys. Uh, but for the guys who do take some value out of this, good luck in building your own. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what parts I used or anything. I, initially, I was gonna do a tutorial. Nah, so don't ask me about it in the comments. You're on your own. Figure it out yourself. All right, and just a close look at what this thing is. So it is a quite thick vertical grip and adapter. I'm not gonna tell you which one. And that is threaded right into the Talon Tunes drop-down adapter. And this is a JDS Airman piece that I've been using on this for a while. You guys have seen it before. You can't get these anymore. So that's, that's the setup. Happy shooting, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.